I'm not going to talk loud because um, I have company, so I'm trying not to wake them up. But I wanted to come on really quick for, um, oh wow, I shuffled the cards, but I just uh, really strongly felt Aries. And I'm not going to say who the cards were shuffled for now. So I'm going to redo them. I really, I really do. Uh oh. All right. Um, so this is going to switch up from blah, blah to Aries. So this is for Aries. Energies move quick. I feel like a little kid. I love it. Like I'm sneaking out. Um, if I hear any names, I will call them in. Oh, God. Okay. My higher self wants to tell your higher self it's for Aries. And the message is... Five. Things not turning out in your favor, maybe. Um, or the way that you'd like them right now for a lot of you. Um... Maybe you're not seeing the positive side. Uh, I understand that. But, uh, missed opportunities. But don't take that as bad. Because it could have been good opportunities that were missed. Following is a six, a fire, victory. That's good news. It's really good news. Good news of what? Good news of the chariot. Someone coming towards you. Or self-discipline, willpower, willpower, self-discipline is coming towards you. You know, or an important, you know, as it says, an important achievement. Eight of air, an illusion of being trapped. That's what I was feeling over here because I don't use these are like they tell you what the cards mean. How silly. <laughs> It's easier, but I mean, I don't know. I've been doing this for 35. I wish they did this 35 years ago, but it's, see, I don't get that. Um, so I'm going to redo these. I'm going to tell you what I get. I don't get that at all. All right, so I'm going to redo it again. First card was five of water. Five of water is someone is deep. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I, I caught this cold. Oh, man, just, let me just let me drink of water. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's better. Okay. Yeah. I feel more. A lot of you feel like you're suffocating. Um, like you're in a situation you can't do anything about right now. You're waiting. You're waiting on. Um, you're waiting on something. This is. You don't want this. Yes, I do see there was missed opportunities. Um, I don't see everything is spilt. There's still two cups that are full of water. But I still, I still feel like there's there's light coming through at the end where you can see the light in the picture. But I don't even need the picture. I, I know the five of water. You know, it's um, feeling when you're left out in the cold. But, you know, it's not really that. It's not being left out in the cold. You're not happy. You could go in that door. You're not happy there, but you're stuck there. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to stay strong. Do what I'm doing. Stay strong. Um, keep your mind busy if uh, if, you're, uh, if, you're, if your mind wanders. Uh, watch your thoughts. Do whatever you need to do to stay busy. Keep yourself busy. Get rid of um, anything in your mind that's blocking you. Anything ifs, what, could have, should have, the past. Get rid of it. I know it takes time. Or you could just get rid of it. And as soon as the thought comes, get rid of it again. It's going to keep coming. And then the next card, the Six of Fire, that is someone approaching you. Victory, good news. You might be hearing good news of what? That's what I see. I see good news. And I see good news, yes, of achievement. This is, I, I didn't see discipline. I just seen uh, achievement of um, maybe even have to travel. Um, and uh, some of you is for paperwork also when I see that 
when I see uh, uh, the chariot. Uh, you have to uh, back and forth communication. Uh, it could be when I say paperwork, it could be CEO work, it could be uh, it could be uh, attorney work, it could be any any document, anything that uh, has to do with document important papers. It could be with help. <coughs> Eight of air, an illusion, of being trapped. Yeah, being trapped in your mind. Um, it's not like, you, but literally, some of you are trapped. You can't, you can't make a move. For whatever reason you want to, you're not happy there, but you cannot make a move at this time. So a lot of you are not trapped. I uh, mean, the, the queen of air, good, good. A lot of you are going to be in the queen of air. Because the queen, um, the queen uh, of air is uh, going to, oh, how can I put this? Like, uh, your higher self will help you to make the correct choice, uh, the decision. Because uh, that's what the queen of air is good. I love the card, though. It's a pretty drawing. Really pretty drawing. But yeah, um, this, if this isn't you, this is going to be somebody that's going to help you or somebody that you're working with. Uh, it could be somebody you're counseling with, some of your friend. I don't know. You'll know. Um, and where it's you. You're clearing away things that no longer serve you. You know, it's, and that's great. If you are seeing the humor and things right now, it is great because you can't change anything. And. I had to learn that the hard way. I would sit and worry and stay in the thought, you know? And I still catch myself once in a while, and as soon as I catch it, then I get out. It's going to be a, a short period. Um, you might need to rest, but you um, it's time to heal. It's time to take a rest. Uh, it's time to maybe forgive yourself and to forgive others. Uh, it's going to be a loss of uh, some kind of a great sadness that comes after the Queen of Air. The Queen of Air is independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. But then all of a sudden, a negative emotion comes in, a great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself and others. I love that because it's so important. Because you'll heal faster if you forgive yourself. And you forgive others. Hmm. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in situations. Because humor is very healing. But also some kind of a sadness. But it's great sadness. And you're going to need time. Or you've already went through this loss of sadness. Um, you're going to need time to heal, because that's the only thing that can take grief, is sadness, uh, whatever this is, um, but a lot of you do need to forgive yourself, and to love yourself, and others, and others, you know, I hear a, a lot of negativity, and, and your people, other readers, and you're given readings, and that negativity goes on the cards, and transmits to others, uh, as you speak. And it really does no justice for a lot of you. Um, I see a lot of you, and you're just so uh, soft-spoken and, or, uh, you know, appealing to look at. But then when I hear the words that come out of your mouth and the, the tone, it's, it's, uh, it, it saddens my heart, you know, because this is a profession. This isn't something that you get on here and you beg for money. Or you swear and you do all this negative behavior. This is a service. I don't do this for free. I get paid. Uh, if anybody wants a reading, they're not cheap. Especially if it's remote. Uh, if you go see a prophet at a church, they're going to pass the basket around. But yeah, this is, uh, of course I thank everybody that subscribes to me. But this is my work, just like you have a job. I have a job. But with this, uh, I want to, the Queen of Air, it ended with the Queen of Air. All right, we know the Queen of Air, she's she's uh, a thinker, she's clearing, she, she makes wise decisions. But with this, 
with this uh, three of air that just suddenly comes in. And all these cards were good. Let me put this down. Now, I mean, the eight of air was an illusion of being trapped. So a lot of this could be brought on from anxiety. This could be something from anxiety that takes place, great sadness, or you get some kind of re uh, news and that causes the great sadness uh, in your heart. So take time to heal and uh, yeah, definitely forgive those. And that would make sense with the six of water, uh, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding uh, children, it could be, that's what it's saying, it could be. But yeah, so six of water, so makes sense. So yeah, you could get some news, memories from your, uh, it could be from someone from your past uh, that's maybe uh, you hear from. And one more card is a lot of you are going to get proposals. Some of you are going to get married. And a lot of you are learning to balance your relationship. Awesome. That is great. Because, uh, again, I'm a guidance counselor. Um, I am a spiritual counselor. Reason being, I've done this since uh, wisdom, since the age of 15 till present, 59. I've learned everything. I've been on a lot of situations. Very few have I lived in real life. So I understand. I've been there. But I achieved and I won. I overcome. And here I am to live, to talk about it. And I'm still living because I'm an energy worker. I'm not. Excuse me. I am not. The Spirit is. The Holy Spirit is doing this. Not me. My higher self. Not myself. The night of water is like falling in love, wedding proposals, you know. But a lot of you do need to balance your emotions. A lot of you do need, I know we all need to balance our emotions. It's kind of silly because every day we need to balance our emotions from something little of uh, taking our joy away, you know, because it can. So anything little could take your joy away. Unity is great. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations. Some of you might be seeking out mentors or like-minded friends, uh, trying to get a community of uh, going. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I think that's great. Let me know. And the seven earth seeds well planted. Yeah, temporary pause in action though. So don't worry. Unnecessary. Joan. There's a Joan. Joan, that was, um, that was, you're in that. That that was like for you. Totally for you. Bill, totally for you. A Lorraine, for you. Oh, gosh. Wait a second. Kathleen, yes, for you. Uh, a Bobby, and I want to say, uh, and a Gloria. This is a couple. And congrats. Uh, um, yeah, congrats. It's uh, great. Congrats. Tashina or Tish? Tashina, whoa, big congrats because you're having a baby. Aww. And it's your second. You already had a baby. It's your second. Second baby. And I hope you are happily with a loving, good man. Did you see that white thing that just flew by? Well, that was my pencil just there. Oh, that must have been the tr Oh, okay. Yeah, see how we think we see like little... Uh, that was just the pencil. Oh, at least I, I should say I, but I've heard other people say it in videos. Or Steven. It's like you are coming in because you've been praying uh, about your back situation. Um, waiting on paperwork. About when? Oh, wow, that's tough. Is it coming soon? Is it coming soon? That's what I keep hearing you saying. Is it coming soon? Is it coming soon? I can't answer that. I can't pick up on your energy strong enough. If you'd like, you could uh, message me, email me. Um, or if you'd like, you go to my webpage. All right. 
Uh, I am SD, Sila Adams. Um, I do more than tarot. I do remotes, as you can see or heard. No, unless you have it personally done, you haven't seen or heard. <laughs> um, mediumship, loved ones on the other side. Energy work for your health. You're familiar with Edgar Casey. I can only work now with about five people. It is expensive. I can see your energy, and then I help move your energy for healing. Um, or the body scan, where you could see any imbalances inside your body, and uh, you could use your energy work to move the energy and heal yourself. My services you'll find on my webpage, and that'll be below. Um, let me... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I had that flu. I was really scared. Uh, I'm not scared. Yeah I, I, yeah, I was, but then I had to get rid of the thought. Let me just pull a Soul Journey card. I got these, and I, I don't know. I'm going to make a set. I'm making mine. Um, and then I'm making mine um, intuitively um, from the spirit that, that calls out the names is what I'm going to do out of clay. Because I was told to. All right, so I'm going to pull the one that I feel. That's facing right here. We got pride. Pride book for the week. That would be, you know, these are really good because I'll do take one of these. They're, to me, they're like confirmations, you know. And, well, they are. And because pride, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. There's no sayings on the back. It's really important. Don't be, you know, pride and then pride. Uh, you know, having pride is different than ego. You know, like pride, I made something. You know, you're not proud, full. You're proud. But yeah, for those that don't know how to love yourself, you don't let anybody treat you um, any less than you'd want to be treated. Ever let anyone treat you any less than you want to be treated. No one has the right to touch you. No one has the right to down talk you. Nobody has the right to abuse you. And you cannot let anybody abuse you. Do not tolerate it. Leave. I like to just do one quick law of attraction. Just this is hard being quiet. Well, not really. Not really. All right. Um, it says, by changing my story, I can change my point of attraction. That's true. Can you see that? so true. The only reason it may seem like some past negative thinking is having an impact on your life now, including me, is because you have been continuing the negative train of thoughts or beliefs through all of the, those years. A belief is nothing more than a chronic pattern of thought. And you have the ability to begin a new pattern, tell a new story, achieve a different vibration, and change your point of attraction as you find a better feeling thought. Your point of attraction shifts right now. And so true. It's like what I say. You know, I think the way I say it is easier. It's right to the point. Um, when you say a word, uh, a word, uh, uh, healing, healing, I'm healing. How does it healing make you feel? <laughs> wow. And how does that make you feel? I mean, the emotion. Happy. I'm healing. It makes you feel good, don't it? So when someone says you're healed, you're good. <laughs> wow. Whew. That's 
that's better. That when you combine those three words that I said, you could move, you could break down, you could tear that wall down. Not literally, wall fall. It's a parable. But yeah. So, I think we all need to work on, on uh, changing, by changing our stories for the week. I think it's beautiful. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it out. And, uh, pay attention to it all week. Okay, Aries, this was for you. Bye.